I listen to metal. I grew up with metal. I've done everything that I possibly could. That's why I feel like that it's time to see what the rest of the world has to offer in other genres as well. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. Hope that you're excited. We are returning to BTS Saturday, and we are here with some new material. RM Namjoon has some new music for us. And, of course, <laughs> that means that he'll be having a new album come out on the 24th. So, also be watching for that, because that will be coming to the channel, too. Also, before we start, speaking of uh, new content... Um, <laughs> We will be uh, doing a whole listen through of the new J Hope stuff as well. So, should be good. Anyway, <laughs> let's check out the new stuff. I'm so excited. I love this. You don't have to be, you don't have to be the anything you say. Try not to be, try not to be, there's something in this sea. I told you I'm fine tonight, staying good. Spring's always been mm. here, I will sleep in her eyes. Wow.
Okay, wow. Oh my goodness. That is super deep. Wow. Okay, let's talk about some things here. So, I wish to only talk about kind of more or less what this says to me. When I watched this, when I listened to the song and put the lyrics together, there's a part of me that feels like it's a duality, right? I feel like that when I watch this, the first thing that I feel is someone who may be thinking, I, I feel like it's a almost a dwelling, dwelling on of the past. And I think the interesting thing about the way he does this, and one thing that I, you know, when I first started listening to BTS, actually I was just talking to someone about this too, um, <laughs> the very first thing that I remember was just being drawn in by um, Suga, by Yoongi, because um, he's, he just kind of came across as like mysterious, enigmatic a little bit, and then, you know, after that, I realized that, like, how much he liked to produce music, how much, you know, he had a hand in it. And it kind of was like, oh, well, Yoongi's my guy. I mean, <laughs> the guy is still uh, my <laughs> my ringtone after about two years now. And, but the thing that I find interesting is when I first started getting into their music during the summer activities, I remember actually being really, really impressed with Namjoon. And, and mainly for his uh, intellectual uh, abilities. The way he thought things through <clears throat> really just kind of sold me that I was like, ah, this is the guy. <laughs> this is my guy. And in a lot of senses, I still feel like that in a lot of ways. But the thing that I find really, really interesting is now, as I watch this it kind of confirms a little bit of like those, that intelligence that I remember when I first started getting into BTS. And I think the thing that's really cool is that it doesn't just always show on his lyrics. And I think that's, what's kind of cool about this video is that this to me shows in his kind of mind's eye. I'm sure that he probably had someone else direct it and maybe even like shoot it. But I feel like that this is kind of brings out that, intelligence that I think about when I think of him and it's this to me the video kind of talked about kind of dwelling on the past and remembering the good times even a little bit to the detriment of you know the present and the future and I think about that a, a lot because you know sometimes I get trapped in those where uh, I'll be listening to something at work and then suddenly a song will come across my feet and I'm just like, whoa, I remember listening to this when I was in junior high and it just like puts me into a whole mood. And, you know, I feel like that that's kind of the thing is this duality of like being stuck in the past and moving forward. And, but I think the other thing that's really cool about it is that there is this feeling that he has of just like, knowing what's best, but struggling with that. <laughs> and let me tell you, that's extremely relatable to me. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I really like the way that he wrote this song too, because I think it kind of fits with this like smoky kind of like room with like, you know, I'm, you know, with his drink and his buddies and they're all having fun. And then there's like the duality of like him being, with a with family and you know wife and kids and stuff like that and it's like oh okay this uh this makes a lot more you know difficult a decision and i think that it's just kind of interesting to see him pair up that duality and i i sometimes i feel like that this is a a, a personal desire you know, I find it kind of interesting in a lot of senses because, like, even I admit that, like, I'll I'll think about that a lot. Uh, for those of you who may not know, I never was, like, one of those people that, like, I want to get, you know, I, I want to have kids or something like that. And 
I don't know. As you get older, all of a sudden I'm just kind of like, you know, I kind of wish that I did. <laughs> and I kind of, I don't know. I see a lot of myself in this video, like seeing all the fun and like all the kind of carefree times. And then you kind of like look back and be like, even though the other way is hard, I kind of wish sometimes that I had that. And, um, yeah, really, really special. I like, um, retrospective RM. <laughs> I love introspective Namjoon a lot. <laughs> but anyway, that's just kind of what I think. That's just kind of what it made me feel. Let me know what y'all think, and we'll discuss this down in the comments below. Thank you.